This is a very interesting gate question which is asked in gate EE 2017 set 1 for 1 mark. In this question, they are asking you to calculate the power delivered by or power supplied by 25 volt source. Okay, if you know the basic laws, then definitely you can easily solve these kind of questions. See, the basic formula for power across any element is just product of voltage and current. Okay, voltage across that particular element and current flowing through that particular element. Just product of that is nothing but power. In this question, the power delivered by the voltage source, 25 volt source, they are asking voltage source value already, you know, 25. How much current is flowing through that particular 25 volt source that if you multiply 25 with I, that is the final answer. In this question, the most important thing is since they have mentioned clearly the power delivered by or power supplied by 25 volt source, that means current has to leave from positive. That means, that means whatever the current direction they have given in this circuit, I exactly same, exactly same. Now, just have your observation, which law we can apply as the first step for solving this particular question. Just have a contemplation and you can answer in the comment section. You just observe current I is entering and 0.4 I is also entering and 14 ampere is leaving. That means you can apply KCL, you can apply KCL, right? So sum of entering currents equal to sum of leaving currents. So accordingly, you are getting I value as 10 ampere. See the beauty of this question without using pen and paper, you can easily get I value as 10 ampere. And now since they have asked that power delivered by 25 volt source, 25 into 10, that is nothing but 251. Suppose interestingly, uh, like uh, intentionally, if they ask instead of power supplied by the 25 volt source, if they're asking power absorbed by the 25 volt source, then what will the answer? Yes, you have to put minus sign minus that's all whatever that actually the element is delivering since uh, if they ask uh, how much power absorbed by that element so you have to mention minus sign that means if earlier value is positive now it will become negative if earlier value is negative now it will become positive okay i hope it is clear for everyone thank you for watching this video